Welcome to the Unit 1 Mastery Assignment, Technology Tool Presentation. For this project, you will be creating a three to five minute presentation on a web tool or educational app. Back when I was in the position that you are now in my undergraduate ed tech class, we had to do a similar assignment. Throughout the semester, my classmates and I will give short presentations on tech tools and how they can be used in the classroom. During these presentations, we would all take notes saved in cloud storage on what each of these tools did. Then, two years down the line, when we were ready to begin our student teaching placements, we had an entire directory of tech tools that we could fall back on and integrate into our teaching for classroom projects, student engagement, or just making ourselves look better during observations. Because you will be keeping these notes on these presentations in cloud storage, you don't need to worry about losing that notebook or your computer crashing and losing all of your notes on these presentations before you begin your student teaching down the line. These notes that you will be taking during your classmates' presentations are exactly what you make of them. I would suggest at least writing down the name of the tool, the spark notes on what that tool does, and then classroom integration ideas that are presented to you and also come to your mind during the presentations. This presentation includes two parts. First, an informational presentation about the tool and classroom integration strategies. And second, a live demonstration of the web tool or app in front of the class. What goes in each part? In your informational presentation portion, you will use a presentation tool like PowerPoint, Prezi, Powtoon, or something similar to make a brief presentation that overviews your assigned web tool or app. In this at least three slide presentation, provide specific ways that you could use this tool in the classroom. Being specific is key. Do not just say that you could use this web tool or app for a classroom activity. Describe what students would do in that activity. For example, tell the class that this math app could be used as an engine starter or do now activity when students walk into the room. Students would have to complete one level of the math app within the first 10 minutes of class and send a screenshot to the teacher of their progress. For the second part, the live demonstration, you will take control of the podium and you will log into your web tool or bring up your app and show the class its different functions, features, and how it works. If you have an app, I have an adapter that fits into iPads and iPhones so that you can project what's happening on your device to the rest of the class. For these demonstrations, it's always best to get your classmates involved. What I mean by that is if you have a tool like Kahoot, actually make a short trivia game in Kahoot and have your classmates sign into it during your presentation. That way, your classmates can see how the tool functions from both a teacher and student perspective. In the example at the bottom of this page, the student is demonstrating blog poll, and she embedded an actual poll into her portfolio and instructed the entire class to go to that URL and take her poll so that her classmates could get that first-hand experience. Be sure to upload your presentation files to Moodle before you present. If you do not upload your presentation before you present, you will receive a zero. For PowerPoints, simply upload them into Moodle. For Prezi's, Google Slides, Powtoons, or anything that's stored in the cloud, simply paste a public share link into Word and then upload that into the submission area for Unit 1. As always, if you have any questions pertaining to this project, please let your instructor know.